Greetings, my fellow travelers. Well, this is a bit of a weird Nexus mission. Hack the Sentinel Pillar, it's straightforward. Get in the Nexus, take off, you warp somewhere else, and no Sentinel Pillar in the uh, system I was in. Check the galaxy map. Oh, it's the next system over. That's never happened before. I get there, no Sentinel Pillar. Check the galaxy map. It's the next system over. <laughs> that is a little bit bizarre. And if you uh, want to wreck an Nexus mission, use a teleport ring. And, uh, well, hopefully there is indeed a Sentinel Pillar on the planet. We're going to find out very, very shortly. Damn, I've been talking away for the last two minutes and didn't even realize that I'd lowered, or sorry, muted the controller microphone. So, uh, to summarize, um, strafing run good. Best class mods on Blaster, even better. And uh, 
unless you lock yourself out of changing your settings, you find uh, a vendor at a space station that has, you know, the mods you like, switch over to no cost, buy them, save, you know, jump in and out of your ship, return to the restore point you just created, basically buy three sets of the mods and install them. Currently what I have is so the plasma launcher with all necessary mods. Still working on the uh, the mining stuff and the bolt caster. And this guy, the uh, pulse spitter. Also need a couple more for him, but uh, yeah, this works really well against the small sentinels. And you saw it actually works pretty good against the big ones. And I could be wrong, but I think we are starting a storm of some kind. Because, you know, on a volcanic planet. Okay, where's the... Uh, basically it uh, if you're doing uh, the the tendrils uh, the small versions of the gigantic worms that jump from one place to the next uh, if you can get a, a good landmark and put down a marker especially if you have a, an aircraft that can hover uh, just do strafing runs beats the heck out of being in personal combat with these things, especially now that they have horrors uh, everywhere uh, where these things are, you know, situated. So you're facing two enemies at the same time. And yeah, that's it, my fellow travelers. Uh, kind of see what they have to offer. Eh, not this time. And yes, I suppose I well, still buy it. Alright, the idea is to acquire this guy, since it's an anomaly mission, go back to the anomaly, and basically, basically sell it to the guy who, uh, you know, trades him. Uh, the funny... Uh, critter that... Uh, looks like a fish person. I guess you'll see in a moment. As far as loading screens, this is uh, probably one of the least uh, annoying in any video games I've seen. Alright, I'm just gonna quickly gonna go pick out the dude. He's got a multi tool disassembling uh, station. Alright, so that's what I have equipped. I'm at 8,266,000. So it should be 9,300,000 roughly. Yeah. Avoid, avoid having your most favorite multi-tool equipped. Um, 
come to think of it, I seem to have a lot of work to do for the mining for all of them. This guy's got nothing on him. Alright, and let's go talk to the Nexus. I mean, I just finished uh, Liquid Vaders, and uh, I think there were basically four uh, walkers you had to kill. And the best place to do it is, of course, uh, Sentinel Pillar. Wait a minute. Okay, I'm still the same amount of money. Oh, is it because I'm in custom mode? It's possible. Generally, um, purchases don't cost anything except with this guy. And generally when you sell stuff, you get money. And I'm sorry, you're not tapped out at 8 million. First profile, I'm at 4 billion something. All right, let's go check out the local space station and get the uh, slowly but surely uh, adding slots to the exosuit. Now you can. Oh, I've been here before. Okay. Fair enough. Um, you can add slots by purchasing charts and with the charts discover drop pods that have suit slots. Uh, but they generally require you having necessary materials. So either way, you can try to cost. But if you're in creative or custom mode, um, just hopping to space station to space station, summoning the anomaly. Whoops. Que pasa? Well, I'll be dipped in peanut butter. Um, yeah, so. The, uh, if you're, you're set up with uh, no cost purchases, well, Obviously, it doesn't cost anything. Is this my starting point? Yes, it is. And with that, my fellow travelers, I leave you.